Hi everyone. We're just going to have a look at a height of collimation booking shoot. Just a very basic booking shoot. Here we have uh, our tripod set up. We've got our optical level on top. Here's the contour of the land. So we're looking at it from the side. We've got uh, our station, uh, our, we've labelled our points where we've taken readings at. Uh, our first reading is always the back site. Our last reading is always the foresight, and all these readings in between are always the intermediate sites. Here we have the readings here, and they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, and we're going to put them into this booking sheet here. This booking sheet is specific for a height of collimation booking sheet. Okay, the first thing we do, we put in our benchmark, which is right there. Okay, we've nominated it at 100. We could have nominated it at 50, 20, 30. It's just a, a nice, easy number to start with. All right, then what we do, we then continue uh, labeling our positions where we've taken the readings. Then we put our readings in. And the first reading we put in at A is uh, 1260. Here we have it here, 1.26. Then we put all the intermediate readings in. There we have them there, and they all correspond with uh, the positions that we've taken the readings from. Okay, then our last reading is the foresight, and we put that in the booking sheet as well. Then what we do, we've got uh, our benchmark, we've nominated at 100, and that's right there. Our reading at A is 1.26. So what we do, we add uh, 1.26 onto our 100 and that's our height of collimation. Then what we do at that height, it's 100 in our RL column. Then what our next step is, uh, we have 101.26 minus 1.17. That gives us an RL of 100.090. We do that uh, again, we have 101.26 minus 0.98 gives us uh, an answer of 100.280. Then we continue on all the way down the column. Each one of these figures get taken away from that figure there. So it's 101.26 minus 1.090, and that's the answer we get there at D. And we complete that column. I won't go through the whole lot with you. You can do that yourselves. It's a pretty easy process to follow. Then what we do, we have to add the uh, backside column and the foresight column, and we're pretty lucky there's only one reading from each. Uh, then our next step is we've got to check to see that our readings and our booking sheet's correct. And the way we check that, we have total backsites min minus total foresights. So our total backsites are 1260, our total foresights are 780. When we take our backsides from our foresights, we get a number of 0 0.480. Now we do that same, we do our second check, but the, the second check, the formula for that is the first RL minus the last RL. So our first RL is 100, there we have it here, 100. Our last RL is 100.48. So when we do that calculation, we get 0 0.48 for our total backsides minus total foresights and, and 0.48 for our first RL minus our last RL. Now, if these numbers were 485 and 480, you made a mistake. They have to be exactly the same, and you have to um, put the two checks in, otherwise your booking sheet could be incorrect, and you'll have to do it again. All right, thanks. Uh,